Okay, now uh, January 2019, paper C34. Question number three. This question is about functions, and part A is asking us to find the range of this function f of x. Now, when we're trying to find the range of a function, we're trying to find all the y values that it can take. Okay, that's what we're trying to find. All right, and to find the range of the function, really the best way to deal with it is to think, imagine, or to sketch how the graph looks. What does a graph look like? Okay, and first of all, we've got to consider what type of function we have. And here we see k is a constant. So you've got 2x squared plus 3 kx, so some number times x plus k squared, so some number. So it's like in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So it's a quadratic function. And it's a quadratic function which has a positive x squared term. So it's going to be a smiley face. Okay, It's going to be a function which opens upwards. Okay, It's going to have some something like that. Okay, So its range is basically going to have a minimum value. Okay, and if, if there was no other information, if this stuff wasn't here, then we would just say, okay, the, the range of the function is going to be greater than or equal to its minimum value, okay, which we can find by completing the square. However, there is a condition attached to this. The domain has a constraint. Okay, the domain is restricted between 0 and minus 4k. Now, as k is a positive constant, minus 4k is a negative number. So let me just sketch a pair of axes just to illustrate what's going on. Um, we're only concerned about this graph between x being minus 4k and 0. Nowhere else. Okay, so it's, that's the region that we're con con considering. So we can see that it's going to be a smiley face, and let's find out what the value of um, f of x is when x is equal to minus 4k, when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to minus 4k, when x is equal to minus 4k, you've got f minus 4k is going to be given by 2 times minus 4k squared plus 3k times minus 4k plus k squared. So that's 2 times 16 k squared um, minus 12 k squared plus 1 k squared. So that's going to be 32 k squared minus 12 k squared which is 20 k squared plus k squared is 21 k squared. Okay, so when x is minus 4 k, y is going to be somewhere up here. 21k squared. Okay, so that's one point that it passes through. And let's see the other limit when x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, if you put 0 into the function, which is up here, put 0 into here, you're going to get just k squared. Okay, so, so I know that it passes through the point 0 and k squared, which is up here. Alright, so we know that definitely it opens downwards. Um, okay, it doesn't turn at k squared, so we've got to figure out where it turns. Does it turn over here, past k squared? Does it turn before k squared? Does it go down? So we've got to figure out how low it goes and where does it go low. Okay, if it goes lower than k squared between 0 and minus 4k, then that will be the lowest value in the range. Okay, We can't just say the range is between k squared and 21k squared because this is a quadratic. It's possible for it to go down below k squared and come back up again. So we got to work out what the minimum is and where the minimum is. So to find the minimum of a quadratic function we have to complete the square. So we've got to take this and complete the square. Okay, That's one way of finding the minimum. You could also find it by differentiating. Okay, but I, I like to complete the square. So let's go and complete the square. So we've got y, we've got f of x is equal to 2k squared plus 3kx. Sorry, not 2k squared. 2x squared. 2x squared plus 3kx and plus k squared. 
Okay, remember, k is just a number, it's a constant, which you don't know its value. So to complete the square, I, I don't want to have 2x squared, I want to have 1x squared. So I'm going to take 2 out. All right, x squared. Now if I take 2 out from here, I'm going to take it from here, because I need the x squared and the x term to be combined together. So I'm going to basically write this as 3k over 2x. Okay, so if I expand this, it will give me the same as that. They're the same, exactly. But just I've got to write the k squared at the end. Okay, I like to just deal with the x squared and the x term when I'm doing this. Now I'm going to complete the square for what's inside this bracket. Okay, what I see inside this bracket, I'm going to complete the square for it. So I'm going to have 2, then I'm going to put x plus, okay, it's a plus, it's a squared bracket. I have to write a half of this coefficient. So it's 3k over 4, and take away the square of this number, which is 9k squared over 16. Close that bracket, and I've got my plus k squared at the end. So now I'm going to multiply this 2 with this term, without, of course, squaring the bracket, leaving it as it is, because you want to complete the square. And then I have 2 times 9k over squared over 16, which is minus 9 k squared over 8. If I multiply this by 2, the 2 and the 16 cancel out, leaving me with 8 in the denominator. And then I've got my plus k squared at the end. Okay, let me just move this down a bit. So I'm almost there completing the square. So I've got that's equal to 2 times x plus 3k over 4. Now this is the same as 8k squared over 8 making the denominators the same. Okay, so that means it's minus 9 plus 1, you end up with minus k squared over 8. I've just added those two terms together. So now I've completed the square. And from this expression, I can extract the minimum point of this curve. So I know that this expression for f of x can never ever go below minus k squared over 8. The lowest value can ever reach is that. Why? Because this is supposed to be squared, by the way. This here, whatever goes in here, okay, is going to get squared. So it's always going to be um, something that's positive, okay, or the lowest it can ever be is when it's zero, okay. When this is zero, it's the lowest possible value of this particular part. And two times zero will be zero. So whatever comes in here can never ever be negative, okay, because whatever goes in here is going to be squared. So the lowest it can be is zero, and when is it zero? When x is minus 3k over 4. So the minimum value is when x is minus 3k over 4 and the minimum the, the minimum value itself is k squared minus k squared over 8. Okay, so the lowest value that this graph will get to is minus k squared over 8, which is going to be over here somewhere. And when is it going to occur? Somewhere over here, minus 3k over 4. So it's within our range. Okay, so the minimum value is there. So this graph will be quadratic. It will come down. We don't know exactly where it will cross. Come back up. And it will hit the x-axis, the y-axis back up here. Where it crosses the x-axis, we don't know. We don't need to know in this question. But we know, we need to know how low it goes in this range. And we can see that it's between here and here that we're interested in. Okay, between these points, its range is basically, its range is between these two. That's its range. That's all the, in, in this particular domain, because it's restricted, okay, it can take any value between minus k squared over 8 up to 21k squared. So that therefore is a range. So we can say that the range is, let me just make some space. So we can say that the range is between minus k squared over 8, less than or equal to f of x, which is less than or equal to 21k, 21k squared. Let me just write that more neater. 21k squared. 21k squared. So there's our answer to part A. And just to confirm that it should say equals, yes it should because you see here it's equals 
okay so it's going to be equal minus 4k is equal to 21k squared and over here it, this is the minimum point it actually reaches that point and goes up so you have to put equals with the inequality sign for the range and there we have the answer to question part question number three part a and question number three part b i will do on the next video